Right, hello everybody. Uh, not good, is it, playing dwarves? Um, 50 TV down against dwarves is pretty shit. But the claw mighty blow might do some things. Level 18 coach, so that's that's good. But, oh my god, look at this. Pom, troll slayer, fall guard. Only 11 players, though. 1-5 um, lost 4, and he has a level 3 stadium for no reason, which is good. Um... So it's just all going to be on, completely on the Claw Mighty Blow guy, and nothing else. Like, this is horrible being down so many skills, really. It really is horrible. <laughs> Hello, I'm Proto Augustus. Thank you very much. <laughs> what a great, what a great, what a great comment. I might, I might, I, you know what, I could have done some Blood Bowl at the weekend. I might do it in future weekends. Basically, what I'm going to do is, um... I'm gonna stick. I'm gonna do Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, Blood Bowl definitely. Then might stream Wednesdays, Saturdays, or Sundays, and it might be Blood Bowl, it might not. I'm, I'm then then I could be fixed. I don't want to say you know Wednesday's gonna be something else, or you know I don't want to say every Saturday I'm gonna do this or something. So they're just gonna be, they're just gonna be uh, you know up for grabs the other three days. But you know, obviously at start of the season it would make sense to smash in. The whole week, wouldn't it? Hello, hello, Valenich. Hello, Tony plays poorly. Hello, Travica. I've already said hello, Travica. Um, worst puzzle matchup, yeah. It's um, right. Receive, obviously. He's only got eleven players. Got quite a mighty blow. Um, just hope. Yeah, the plan is to draw. Yeah. It, it, to be fair, Tony. To be fair, right. This is a really good record, because. Um, because the fucking, you know, down all that TV to those scape, and that was ridiculous to not to not win that to to not lose that game. Down the other game to the TV, the Skaven was tough. Down the TV, the Kislev ball times was really tough. So there's been some hard games for this for this team, and even this one is is not good, is it? Down um, only down fifty, but he's got a much more TV efficient team with these guard guys and the Pommer and the uh, mighty blow like. Compared to a reserve, a reserve and a babe, you know, um, he's got a he's got a much better team here. Um, I think Kespak will be. I think Pack and Corn will be in like a Chaos edition, um, eventually. I'm I don't know. Pack are a bit meh. <laughs> they're kind of funny, I guess. The the big guys and that, and uh, but you know mostly, they're a bit lame in maxing. Um, what the best at in it, and now now they've got the orc. It'll be interesting to see whether they'll put the orc in or not, and um, like in the current rules. Hello, Johnny Derp. Yeah, that's the thing. It's it's brutal. Like, if if you're the same TV, it's no problem, you know. And you've got you've got sure hands, and you've got mighty blow and guard and everything and it's no problem but when they're when they're up TV against you it's rough isn't it everything everything like you know I've got no tackle can't have tackle what I could have had tackle and a rookie beastman instead of block fuck off you know not, <laughs> I could have taken I guess I could have taken mighty blow tackle maybe you can argue that I could have gone mighty blow tackle to be fair or block tackle or wrestle tackle but you know it's really hard to have tackle on this team at this point so it's pretty you pretty much any game against like an agility team is going to be rough anyway. Um, I get the two guys on more back. Can mighty blow blitz. I'll just push him in there anyway. Hmm. This is a bit shit if he gets the blitz, isn't it? But then, can't really put him anywhere else. 
Just gotta hope he doesn't get a blitz. Well, yeah, I mean, you would hope, you would hope, Valenik, that eventually the horrible matchups would start stop, wouldn't you? And uh, that's what that's what I'm hoping that eventually I get a game where I'm even TV or even have a TV advantage. And then in that situation, I've just seen these that are blitzable. Well, I guess I'd have to do tough things to make them hitable. All right, good. Well, mighty blow. See you later, you fat bastard. <laughs> Glorious. Keeping him in contact with the claw is actually pretty good, isn't it? This has got to be a reroll now, I think, hitting this guy. I guess we could go for the pickup first. Because the pickup failing, I can use reroll on the pickup. And then that's. Then I'll know whether to go for the blitz or not. There you go, it would have been double skulls the blitz, but then would have worked out better. Ah, panning from Crackens to you, so that's pretty good. That's about as good as it gets as far as this is go, isn't it? Um Yeah, to start though, isn't it, you know? It's better than. It's not that bad to have won five and lost two. Point only players near leveling up. Uh, well, best Fagor is on five. One of the Warriors is on three. Him. And. Uh, <laughs> the guys who took Mighty Blow haven't got any Kaz since they've got them. This guy hasn't got a Kaz in four games, for fuck's sake. Absolute joke. Uh. I lost an eye, you know. <laughs> Stand firm is a bit weird, but what, what some guys say is, you know, if you can surf with him, with uh, with Stan Firm, if you're gonna surf, your plans to surf with your troll slayers, go Stan Firm. But seeing as he's taken Mike piling on on the other one, I think it's a bit fucking crazy to do it. He stood up that guy ready to get hit by Claw Mighty Blow, just quietly. That was a little skill tester for him to see if he would. He failed. He failed with flying colours. Guy's getting fouled. Bastard. Could actually just claw mighty blow that one. Block him and get a big foul in there. <laughs> Hello, conflicts and milk. Hello, uh, oh yeah, the um, what's my opinion on dwarves and people who play them? To be honest, I don't know. They're a bit lame, aren't they? They're a bit lame.
Maybe I shouldn't have re-rolled the pickup, eh? Maybe I should have made the blitz and re-rolled the blitz and not care about the pickup. But it was only because I had the th then it's only because I had the four. Wow, double GFI. A fucking movement nine runner is uh, pretty annoying, isn't it? Make this three dice because there's no reason not to. And get rewarded with a massive push. Oh, exciting. Maybe you could blitz him. And if it's a push, feel bad. <laughs> But it seems better than blitzing him. Because pushing is bad anyway for him. Good job, good job you moved nine squares to get punched, dickhead. So two assists, it's not great, is it? But the thing is, it dissuades him from doing it again at least a little bit, doesn't it? He's got fucking pong, so I'll have to anyway. Go there to stop the f to frenzy trap if he hits the uh, claw guy. I oh, might might be able to push him into the ball. Fuck it. Don't care too much about the ball, do I? Right. Nothing better than a boat full of love. <laughs> full of love. That's plus strength high off catch and a plus move dodge high off catch it. Well, well done. Fuck no. Um, now there's no kebab. I didn't have kebab. <laughs> uh, no, kind kebab. There was some tea in it. Some lovely Rington's tea. Hopefully that foul will at least, you know, make him think. Twice about piling on. He's still just going to two dice the, the claw mighty blow and get the power, isn't he? Of course he is. Dirty dingo, and I. Hello, man kids. He's going to not give a shit about it. I mean, 75% knockdown, to be fair. And even if it's not a knock, he's got the re-roll with the one dice afterwards. So I guess it's it's not bad at all. I'm just going to be sad when my uh, claw mighty blow dies. That's all. But yeah, fair enough. Fair play from him. Bad play for me, I guess, relying on the armor break on the foul. Base, base, base. This yeah, the apple's on standby. Yeah, he's gone. He's gone pretty all manzy here, hasn't he? He does have the guard advantage, but he's down a player under stun. 
And he's definitely going to pile on, so even if he gets the removal on the Claw Mighty Blow, he's going to pile on for sure. Yeah, of course he does. doesn't give a fuck about the Frenzy Trap. 100% piling on. Wow, didn't even break AV. Oh, baby. All right, we've got the can opener available. Block, block, block. Block, block, block. Where's the blitz come then? Might be able to foul him. He could block there. He could block there. Stand for him. Doesn't matter. So he'd really like to foul, wouldn't he? Actually, he could blitz him. He could block him and then be two, three assists. Oh, this, this guy's a little problematic, isn't he? Fuck, I can't really go anywhere else, can I? Shouldn't re roll that pick up. Bit daft. Whoa. Blood Bowl's crashed. Is my internet gone? Laptop's crashed. Right. Oh, is it back on? Is it back on? Is it back on?
I didn't I didn't want to follow up, it just followed me up. I didn't want to fucking do it. Right, I'm gonna shut down this fucking music program that I had for the intro. I didn't need to leave it on actually, did I? Alright, let's fucking shut that off. Twenty two seconds to make get the foul in. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Probably over here. Don't know what happened there. My my uh, my, my laptop semi crashed. <laughs> so. I guess I can't leave that music program that played the uh, played the song at the start, and I can't, so I can't have music on in between games. So that's for sure, right? Yeah, it was shit. I didn't want to do that follow up. Made everything a lot more risky, but and he's getting two dice blocked because of it. But never mind. Not the worst thing to do with follow-up that you shouldn't have done. People like Zunk do it every block. <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> we'll see what happens. Turn over. So it worked out quite well, the uh, giving up a block for no reason. Good. Yeah, to be fair, Tony, Zunk does have a very good vibe. You should try to get uh should try to get on to do the what's it called, uh Big Brother, shouldn't he? Should I go uh, get on Big Brother with that voice? <laughs> I was really hoping Shawnee and Fash would join me on the weekend for a, a breakdown of Dord versus Zunk. It would have been a good laugh. <laughs> yeah, I shouldn't have re-rolled that pick up. It was a bit dumb because the ball wasn't under pressure. It just meant that I couldn't blitz, but then blitzing, I wanted to re-roll for the blitz anyway. So I should have gone for the pick up. And if I failed it, I failed it. I just did it because I had the extra reroll, but you know, of course dwarves are going to hurt dirt base, base, base. Of course they are. Of fucking course they are. When has a dwarf ever not hurt dirt base, base, base? just blitz with him unfortunately so safe moves first
No foul this turn eh? Bit weird getting used to this uh -huh. This mouse, but there you go Oh my fucking god, see I'm just getting fucked on the block dice Dumb, dumb rear on the pickup, and I only literally only did it because I could. I had the extra one. If he blitzes, he could just blitz him anyway, but by going there, does something, doesn't it? He can just one dice block and then dodge. Get one dice on the ball. That'll be enough to get a power in death. Oh yeah, Tony, I saw it in Discord, yeah, I just didn't think of anything funny to say, so I didn't reply. Potato, I couldn't knock it out with her, I just couldn't. I couldn't because I didn't get the POW. If I'd got the POW, I could have come up here, blocked, and see if I got the POW there. And if I got the POW there, I can block there and then I could potato. But now he's, he might get more committed over this side now. I mean, this side is opening up, isn't it? With only the two blitzers there, so... I'd like to blitz one with Claw Mighty Blow and then get some cover for the potato. But if he brings, if he swings around the other runner, it's not looking good. But yeah, it's bad in it all. But all the all the one in nines are pretty horrible. You can always potato. What I particularly like about this dwarf coach is that he's making sure to use all three minutes of his turn, which is, you know, a very, very nice thing to do, isn't it? Right. Yeah. Goes for him instead. Come on, one dice, you fuck. No. At least his armor nine. Gets broken anyway. Brilliant. That's the pile on. Right, next turn might be able to get away from the piling on her anyway, which would be nice, wouldn't it? Oh, VIP Kurgle. I'd much rather his Pommer was hitting armor 9, wouldn't I, really? Although, obviously, losing a warrior is worse. He's much more likely to remove a beast. And yeah, the, the claw pump is there, so still a ch well, claw mighty blow. Claw mighty blow. Gives you a shot. If only he had piling on, holy shit. Like, it's stupid that 20, 20 TV makes this game, like, would almost swing it in my favour, but instead... It's not. <laughs> yeah, maybe that was a decent turn to try to break away, to be fair. He's just going to one dice power both these guys, isn't he? Dwarves, man. Yeah, 16. He's been on 16 since he got claw. He hasn't done anything. He got claw four fucking games ago. He ain't fucking caused a cars, man. 
Yeah, he just one dice powers them both. Of course he does. Oh, at least he didn't follow up. Horrible non-follow there. Absolutely horrible. Dyer. Kieran Dyer on the non-follow. I mean, this is why I've got no players. That's 2v1. Oh, he's red dicing. Now you're just taking the piss, you fuckhead. Well done on no balls, though. Idiot. What a fucking... What a fuckhead. Now I'm pissed off. <laughs> He's got one KO'd. Ah, oh, I've got one KO'd as well. Right. Gotta go for the blitz here anyway. Blitz first. No safe moves in this house. Yep, that's where you all gone. Of course. Not allowed to get. Not even lucky, just, you know, he just, he just one dices all day. And gets nothing. <laughs> it's just stupid, isn't it? It's just fucking stupid that they can roll four one dice powers and you make one block and it's a one in nine failure. Really fucking annoying. That's some proper shit luck with this team. Maybe it's cursed. With fair matchups and fair dice, this team could have been 7 0 easily. Fair dice against the Kislevs would have been 5 2 0. And then uh, fair matchups against the Skaven would have been 7 0. Yeah, maybe I should have done, yeah. But then he just got knocked down, wouldn't he? So. Maybe, Valenic, yeah, maybe. Maybe. Guy de Coron. At least I'll spell his name right. Mighty Blow plus Strength Block. Block to wear a penny. Block. 100%. You can't, you can't delay it any longer. Imagine if he feels something. <laughs> I can't believe I've used four rerolls in five turns. Just gonna one dice, straight up one dice. Good. You can't blame him for one dice in the ball because he just thinks powers are the only uh, 
the only result on a block dice, doesn't he? He doesn't. This guy doesn't even know how like that the skulls and pushes exist. So he's just like blitz him, knock him over, and uh, break his arm. It's automatic, isn't it? Can't blame him for that strategy. Yes, in the end, thank you, Squirrel Dude. Yeah. Right, so the first block is 100% going to be a 1 in 9. <laughs> 100%. So I have to stand everyone up first. Where's the fucking right click here? He's my canoring threat. But he already is where he is, isn't he? He already is a canoring threat there. He blitzes him, then he goes for pick up. There's no other players there. Wow, holy shit. It was the opposite of a board down. Mm, he can two dice him, he can two dice him. If he goes here, then he's in scoring range, so there's two in scoring range. This is a bit of a canoring threat kind of scenario here. <laughs> Fatty fuck fuck. <laughs> A lot of guys have on Carsten. Carstein. Oh, it's so good that I can have this on this page now. Actually, you can see people's names. An injury from Claw Mighty Blow. That's crazy, isn't it? What is what is wrong with Blood Bowl when a when a Claw Mighty Blow guy actually gets a casualty? He's probably got more chance of scoring than me at this point, hasn't he? Two dice him, dodge out. Maybe I should have brought him back up a little bit. Because he could stand up this turn anyway. So yeah, maybe maybe I fucked up with that. It, I mean, I even said it was a bit of a crying threat. He could have been back here, couldn't he? I should have assumed everything would fail. Should have assumed the ball would fail. Should just plan to fail and try to get out zero zero with no re rolls. Yeah. Bit silly, wasn't it? Bit silly to think anything would work. Much more likely to go one nil down, and then and then it be a draw. <laughs> ah, yeah, because you wouldn't let him up anyway. So yeah, that makes sense. Just get out this nil nil. Then you know, hopefully have the man advantage for the second half. Might be able to do something. Probably shouldn't pile on here, should he, with the uh, two players stunned up there, but he doesn't give a fuck. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, fair enough, Pedro. <laughs> oh, he's got to go for the pickle. Just one dice. Where, are they? Where is this guy, man? Fucking hell. Like, it's okay. A lot of the time, they're strength three. Case where is a strength four. They're going to have to make... And, you know, the one dice are kind of reliable. Unlikely to fail. But they don't have to be a fucking power every single fucking time, do they? <laughs> Team with two beastmen with seven in move. I would say, yeah, that's fair enough. Two movements really good for uh, things. He just goes for that at the end with no rerolls. Justly punished. Oh, brilliant, brilliant, brutally punished. All right. Well, that's good, isn't it? That was some. Go that was a good punish for him. Um. Now the obvious blitz is onto him, isn't it? So they can get the ball. One, two, three, four, five, six. Pass it to him. Run away, score. So, this guy. One, two, three, four, five, six. So he's got it. He just he just has to go here. There's not even a choice there. Unfortunately, he's got to stand up, hasn't he? To stop him doing anything next turn. Don't. Don't know what this guy does. Protects him. No, he doesn't, they don't even need it. Double G if I had to base him at the end. Maybe. Oh man, welcome to Lou League. <laughs> oh baby. They can't free each other up, really. He can't reach. The Knorring threat could be a success. <laughs> yeah, that's just worked. <laughs> Unbelievably. And the two GFIs at the end as well. Fucking <laughs> hell. Help BS. <laughs> At least now it's almost certain he's not going to score, isn't it? That's something. Can free up him. Nah, shit, maybe I should have blocked him, but I didn't want to push him. Maybe I should have done. 
I might have two chances at the KOs. I mean, if I score, I'll have two chances at the KOs. But then so will he. So it's one Kaz. Is all. Is Apo's gone then, right? He must have Apo'd one. No? Oh, nice block. Of course it's a pal. Of course he doesn't fail anything. No, maybe I should have made that two dice, to be fair. Oh. He'll both down this if he has to, won't he? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Why you mighty blow claw yourself? So one, two, three, four, five, six, G F I G. Wait, can he get there? So he can score anyway, straight up. Um, I've just got to claw my ball first, though. the other blocks too are. Outrageous! The fucking dice rolls there. Holy shit. He's he is the elf girl, that's why it worked. That was a lot of rolls out re-rolls, wasn't it? Holy shit. His apple's gone. So to be fair, that worked out about as well as it could have possibly worked out. I haven't got any save setups now. Oh no, I do right. Defensive setup one. Yeah, okay. Two. Yeah, okay. Three. Oh no, it's gone. There's no three. Okay, that's good. Five on the LOS. A three has to go on the LOS. Let's try and save this as defensive setup three. Ah, wow, it didn't say override. Okay, maybe it actually worked. Wouldn't that be novel? <laughs> ah no, Kurgle, no, I realised I was just seeing if because I'd tried to save the 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 third setup before. Just another just another saved setup rant. It's because I love them. Thank you, Von Karstein. Yeah, it was a tough one. That was pretty tough to be fair, although I whined about rolling the one in nine blocks. All the three pluses and two pluses at the end were... Well, how, how many was it? One, the three plus pickup failed the first one, but then had to make three three pluses and two two pluses. No, one pickup, pass, catch, pickup again. So four three plus rolls. 
And two, two pluses. <laughs> yes, it's so <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Pedro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fistful of steels. Yeah, it will happen. It will happen. It's just, it's just really fucking hard, man. Right? I got up at eight a.m. today, and I didn't have any time to do anything till twelve. Um, which you know isn't enough time to make a video. And then once I finish at fucking seven. I've got to upload to YouTube, then that takes till about fucking ten or half nine or something. And then I've got to do other things then and then now I've got to go to bed. So it's really I've got to get up at five AM to be able to do to be able to make videos for YouTube. So I'll certainly try to get up at five AM. Um but it's not gonna be easy. I try to get up at five AM today. <laughs> Woke up, turned off my, turned off the alarm, went straight back to sleep. <laughs> so, it's gonna be tough, but I'm definitely gonna try to get up at five a.m. to do, to do all of the racial guides, and the setup guides, and other things as well that people have mentioned. Yeah, all right, existing setup. That's a good one. That is a good one. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, Charlie. Too. There's, there's the human guide though. Is there, isn't it? The human guide is there. Yeah. Um, because I thought orcs and humans were good ones to do with the box sets. So I guess Skaven and dwarves should be next, so that all of the boxed sets are there, and then do pro elves in time for pro elves coming out. Okay, so that actually is saved. Defensive setup three now. Unbelievably. This this would be good without guard, wouldn't it? Um, but seeing as there is guard, maybe not so much. Maybe this. Guard's better. I know there's two bitters on one side, but if there's guard and claw on one side, he's totally going the other side. Whereas now he's either running into guard or he's running into claw. Right, so he's got nine. Nine versus eleven. So two man advantage for the second half. There's half a chance on defense. Just got to play. Just got to play hard defense now, isn't it? Do you know what? That would be an amazing, an amazing series, wouldn't it? Here is where I do a guide to every every race in Blood Bowl. Let's start off with ogres. Play halflings instead. Halfling guide. Play goblins instead. <laughs> Goblin guide. <laughs> Play underworld instead. <laughs> um, no, goblin guides. Play orcs instead. Orcs. Uh, orcs guide. Play Kemri instead. Kemri guy, play Undead instead. Undead guy, play Necromantic instead. <laughs> and it just goes all the way up through the teams until it ends with play Wood Elves instead. That would work. It definitely would end in play Wood Elves. Although Skaven are very good. Right, didn't get one dice to death with quick snap. Yeah, there was a bit of a danger with the quick snap, but still. He's still got four guard, hasn't he? He's still got all of his good players. But limited the impact of his slayers, at least. Which is the scariest thing, isn't it?
really don't want to get pine on a mighty cold. I would not take prawn upon slayer, no. I'd go uh, jugs. I guess pro eventually, yeah. I mean, after jugs and tackle. You could, couldn't you? But I'd probably go like Stan Firm and Guard. Before pro. I could see the point of pro on here. I guess a fucking troll slayer is probably one of the few players that you could ever take pro on. Because. You know, it can work with a piling on, like to get more knockdowns, and uh, he's already starts with Flock and Frenzy, doesn't he? And Dauntless. Right, so there's a fail pickup there, just quietly. That means my killer gets to hit his killer and bounce the ball to somewhere maybe exciting. I'm getting two dice to oblivion if I move these guys in. So let's just uh, hit and see what happens. I'm not happy about this, but I do think it's the best way. It covers against the frenzy a bit, doesn't it? The fact he's failed to pick up, he's down two players. Base, base, base. This won't fail. I'm on the right. Burr, burr, burr. This is super defense. I mean, this is as aggressive. When I say super defense, I said hard defense, which is this is as hard as it gets, isn't it, all manzi? Well done. Herb Derp, you fucking idiot. <laughs> oh, yes! Ultimate punish! <laughs> Ultimate punish! Fuck you, concede, you fucking cocksucker! <laughs> yes! Motherfucking dwarf piece of shit! Punished! Oh, God. The best game of Blood Bowl all times. Glorious! <laughs> oh. oh, yes. Brilliant. <laughs> oh, thank God. That was pretty good, wasn't it? Oh. Oh, God. <laughs> yes, that was ultimate punish, wasn't it? That was ultimate punish. But I can't believe he just he just opened with it. Because on turn... On, turn, on his turn nine, he realised that he couldn't blitz with the Troll Slayers. And this he was just like, fuck it, straight in. Unbelievable. <laughs> yeah there is there should be Slim Jim yeah I'll put it on now yeah he disconnected he's 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 he's, he's pulled a, he's pulled a plug on his router or something yeah 
Yeah, it's a lot more fun when you're winning, yeah. He's probably just forced quit. He's probably out f 4 in disgust. <laughs> oh, God. Fucking brilliant. I hope his guy still dies. Right. Um, Slim Jim. Like, Blue Ball's pretty good, isn't it? When it was like that. Like, how he just totally... He totally fucked up and was punished. It wasn't just getting a Kaz. You know, it wasn't just making a two-dice block and killing his guy. It was just amazing that he did a terrible move that was just swiftly and brutally punished. Yeah, he just blocked, yeah. <laughs> it might have done, to be honest, Pedro, yeah. When we had even games, the opponent conceded. When the odds were absolutely... St when the odds and the dice were stacked against us, got draws. So it's, um... It's doing all right. God, what a fucking game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my my laptop pretty much uh, pretty much crapped out then, so I don't think I can play music during the stream. I'll just play it at the start. So yeah, no, no thing. I didn't Destronov. You can you can spoiler alert me if you want. <laughs> playing in a manner that, that <laughs> playing in a manner that encourages concessions oh man god that was so good wasn't it <laughs> yeah I thought he might have done it on the warrior but at least he had guard there didn't he so it was a two dice hit or minus two just straight up Straight up done. I didn't see this for a bit, to be honest. <laughs> Maybe not, little Baz, but it gives him. It gives him. The I guess that's satisfaction for him, isn't it? That he's. Uh, you know, he's like yeah. I can't just have to wait five minutes because I'm stupid. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, things were looking very bad for him. Eight players up, all gone. You know, Claw Mighty Blow's going to hit every turn. His Troll Slayer's getting fouled this turn. Like, you can't really blame him for conceding. Obviously, you can blame him for just disconnecting like a dickhead. But still... Oh, the data does not your assertion. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, boy. The funniest part is him being dwarves, isn't it? And that. MVP on Claw, yeah, it'd be okay. Just warriors, isn't it? It's, it's really what I'd want, but then got two beast men. Loads of money. Best for go. Alright. Take that. Out blocked though. His were mostly one dices, weren't they? This will be interesting. Let's have a look. Five GFIs all passed. <laughs> Made 50% of pickups. Oh yeah, because double one the first one. 
And then uh, one pass and one catch. And uh, right, uh, this is uh, sorry, man. This is the big one, the block dice. How many one dice did he make? One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven and one skull. That's uh that's not too bad I guess. But then we're from two dice we made one one in nine. So three one in nines from uh from twenty one, which isn't too bad really. Like obviously two's more what you'd expect, but three's only one away, isn't it? So and from 11 one dice blocks, you'd kind of two would be average and he only rolled one. So really, and he only made 10 because one was a reroll. So he wasn't really that unlucky and I was, he wasn't really that lucky and I wasn't that unlucky. So it's just funny and it? it's funny the impression you get when you're playing the game. You think, oh, he's making all these one dice and they're not even failing. But it wasn't even that crazy really. Right. Best for gore. Movement, interesting. I don't hate it. I don't hate it because you know you want you want a stat up on your ball carrier. You could argue movement's better than agility as well because to use your agility, you've actually got to like dodge. <laughs> Obviously, it makes the pickup easier, but you know it does give you reliable dodging. But the speed can mean that you don't even have to dodge, doesn't it? I'll get you there. It's it's worth considering the movement. But I guess I should go block or wrestle. And uh <laughs> Maybe this level two, I guess. Because eventually I want to upgrade the stadium, won't I? Or cheerleaders, finally. Um Yeah. think about what to give that guy anyway thanks for watching if you enjoyed it don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic